That would be face. Well, I'm going to save that face as a screenshot. <laughs> that was absolutely priceless. <laughs> right. Now, something that we've all been talking about are the recent events across Europe and the escalating refugee crisis. Thousands of Glaswegians are wanting to do their bit and help out those in need. 10,000 people are expected to attend a vigil at George Square next weekend and points are being set up around the city for people to donate items to help refugees in crisis. Here to tell us a bit more about how Glasgow can help are Rosa Sally and Gary Patterson. Uh, Rosa, so many people want to get involved. What can they do? Yes, I think uh, we've organised a collection where the people can donate um, collections in Strata uh, University and uh, also on the 12th of uh, September, which is next Saturday, in George Square we have a stall uh, organised where people can donate clothing, tents, uh, warm clothes, where um, people are in need of it, uh, refugees, uh, and also uh, get in touch and volunteer. We have um, over 2,000 people on our page. Squarish Action for Refugees have joined in, and everyone wants to help uh, with the current refugee crisis. Well, it's so good that you guys are actually doing something, because on my Facebook timeline, it's just people going, I want to help. But I don't think anybody knows how. So, Gary, tell me a bit, a, a bit more about the events at Strathclyde Union. Yeah, but I think it's uh, fair to say that the students are quite dismayed that the, the government's response has been pretty uh, inactive if you compare it to other governments in Europe. And I think uh, students want to take some action themselves. So we're delighted to be working with local charities in Glasgow to um, do collections uh, within Strathclyde Union uh, over the next week. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I know a lot of people will almost certainly want to bring lots of stuff, but Rosa the certain stuff that you don't want to see there. What, what, what have they got to try and avoid bringing? Uh, we don't take any uh, food um, because we just don't, uh, we're taking a van down to Calais, so um, no food. Uh, we need uh, warm clothing where the winter is coming and uh, uh, tents and uh, uh, shoes, uh, like good trainer shoes where people can wear in muds and so on, uh, sanctuary products for women and we need them very badly. Uh, I think men's clothing is urgent needs. Uh, that's what we need from donation from people. We've been offered things like teddy bears and stuff. But there's, there's quite a lot of that coming. But um, yeah. they say that um, this situation at Cali has a very long-term situation and it has lasted a long time and it's likely to continue to do so. So with the winter coming in, um, we're looking for you know some really warm clothing that people can can use and um, warm sleeping uh, gear. And for anyone who wants to come along, is there a list of all this stuff somewhere that they can find it? Um, yes, we already have it on the stressstudents.com website and also we have it on our page, uh, uh, Scottish Action for Refugees, and uh, uh, that's the way we've uh, publicised it and hopefully people will see it. From the show as well. <laughs> yeah, it will detail as well that um, the, the student union on John Street will be doing uh, collection drives from 2 to 9 pm on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, well, listen, um, I hope uh, Glasgow responds to that. I, I'm almost certain there are lots of people out there, certainly from your Facebook, I know yeah, on uh, uh, social media, right across uh, the city and beyond. People just want to help. We want to, and this is such a great way to get involved. So, yeah, I wish you every success with it, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Well done to Gary, well done to uh, Rosa uh, for joining us in the studio. If you want to help, we will uh, remind you of that before we go. Well, it's time for a